In this lecture, let's try to understand what is absolute and relative route paths. So here in the app component.html, we are creating these four links, this home link, about link, contact link and courses link. And to make these links respond to a route, what we have done is to this router link directive, we have specified some path. Now, if you notice before these paths, we have not used a slash like this. So when we specify a slash before a path, it uses the absolute path. That means that path gets appended to the root URL. And what is the root URL? It is localhost 4200. So this path will be appended to this root URL. So it will be like localhost colon 4200 slash about. Okay, so this is absolute path. And remember that when we use a slash before a path, it uses the absolute path. That means that path gets appended to the root URL, no matter which route is the active route. But when we don't specify a slash, in that case, it uses relative path. And in case of a relative path, the path which we assign to this router link directive that gets appended to the currently active route. So for example, let's say the currently active route is localhost colon 4200 slash courses. So when we use a relative path, that path gets appended to the currently active route. So in this case, let's say this about will be appended to this currently active router link like this. Okay, so this is the difference between absolute path and relative path. When we use a slash before a path, it uses absolute path. That means that path will be appended to the root URL. In our example, localhost colon 4200. But when we don't use a slash, in that case, it uses relative path. And in case of a relative path, the path which we assign to the router link, it gets appended to the currently active route. Now, to understand this practically, let's do one thing. Let's open this about component here and let's go to the HTML file of about component and here at the top inside this container div let's add an anchor element and to this anchor element let's specify router link and to this let's assign this home path okay so this is the path which we are assigning to this router link directive and here let's say go to home page okay now let's go to the web page and let's go to about page and here we have this link go to home page now when I hover over this go to home page in the bottom left corner you will see the route which it will take us to so here you can see in the uh, bottom left you will see that the route is localhost 4200 slash about slash home so Currently, the currently active route is localhost 4200 slash about. And then to that currently active link, this home is being appended. Right. So if I go to the web page, if I click on this go to home page, you will see that in the URL it is localhost 4200 slash about slash home. And since we have not defined any route with this path, this about slash home, that's why we have been taken to this 404 page not found page. Now let's go back to VS Code and here let's use a slash. So we have learned that when we are using this slash before the path, in that case it will use absolute path. And in case of absolute path, this path will be appended to the root URL. So the root URL is localhost colon 4200. Let's see that. Let's go back to the web page. Let's go to about page. And now when I hover over this link, you will see here in the bottom left, the route is localhost 4200 slash home. So now, instead of appending this path to the currently active route, now this path is getting appended to the root URL. So now if I click on this link, it should take us to the home page. So now we are in home page. So with these two examples, now I hope that the absolute path and 
relative path for the router link is clear to you. But if you have any questions, then feel free to ask it. Now also remember that instead of slash, if we use dot slash, in that case, it will be considered as relative path and not absolute path. Okay, so if I go back to the web page, now you will notice that if I go to about page and if I hover over this link, now you will notice that that path is being appended to the currently active route. So the currently active route is localhost 4200 slash about and the path is dot slash home. So this home will be appended to the currently active route. And that's what you will see in the bottom left. So it is localhost 4200 slash about slash home. And if I click on this link, here also in the address bar, you can see that route. And it has taken us to page not found page. But if we specify two dots and then slash, in that case, it will move one level up to the parent path of the current route. Let's see that. Let's go back to the web page. Let's go to about page. So currently, the current route is localhost 4200 slash about. And when I hover over this link, you will see that here in the bottom left, it is the route is localhost 4200 slash home. That's because since we have used two dots here before this path, here it will move uh, one level up to the parent route. So the parent route is localhost 4200. And to that, this path will be appended. This home will be appended. In the same way, if I use one more two dots and a slash, in that case, it will move two levels up and then append this path to the resulting route. So for example, let's say the path is localhost colon 4200 slash courses slash course slash javascript okay now to the path let's say we have assigned basics and before this we have used this two dots you know two dot and a slash so for the first dot and a slash it will move one level up so the currently active route will be this route so if we move one level up in that case it will be uh, you know this javascript will be moved so now we are in this route and again, we are using two dot and a slash. So we will move one more level up to this route. And then this basic will be appended to that. I hope it makes sense here. So this will be the resulting path that will be assigned to this router link. Okay. Let's remove this from here. Let's also remove this. So this is all from this lecture. If you have any questions, then feel free to ask it.